Hi, my name is Scott Siberson, and I'm going to take a look at one of the most powerful tools, um, one of the most powerful features of Google Documents, um, and that's the ability to share. Um, we're going to take a look at sharing a Google Doc today, but you could also do this with Google Presentations. You can also do it with Google Drawings, um, with Google Spreadsheets, those types of things. So. Today I'm going to take a look at a document that's already been created um, and you can see that it's already been shared. It says so right there on the side. Um, I'm going to share it with other people and I'm also going to take a look at some other visibility things for you to take a look at. I'm going to open that document and when I do, up in the upper right hand corner there's a blue button there that says hey you can share this document. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to list everybody that's already been shared into that document. So if I look at it, you can see some people that I've already added to my sharing list. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at is privacy. Right now, this document is marked private, means only the people that I have explicitly sent editing permission to can edit this document. So I'm going to take a look at changing that privacy setting. I'm going to open it up. I can, in the sharing settings, I can make the choice to make this totally public. I can make this document open on the web so that anybody that searches for this document can open it up and edit it. At that point, you've got a lot of people that can contribute to it and make changes. The next thing we're going to look at is anyone with the link. What do I mean by the link? I mean the link that's at the top here that I can share with other people. This is the link to the web address of that document. So anybody that would have that link would be required or would be able to edit your document. Please be aware that if you send the link to someone, they can send it to someone else and to someone else and to someone else and all of a sudden you thought you were sharing it with one person, but in reality, more people have that link and can edit the document. The next layer of security is to take it down so that everybody in your domain can find and access that document. So they would have to have a DublinSchools.net email address to be able to find that document and edit it. And then the other sense of security is to make it so that anybody in Dublin could see it, but they would have to have the link. And then again, it could be shared with other people in the domain. Right now, we've got it set to private so that I have to grant permission to people in order to edit my document. But I have those other choices. So let's take a look at what else we can assign to people. I can take this person who is now an editor because I've invited them in and I can change their permissions to being a co-owner with me. I can leave them as an editor which means they can do all the work, they can change the document, they can do all those types of things. I can make them a commenter and a commenter is a person who can see the document and can make comments and suggestions but they can't actually edit the document or I can make them just a viewer. They can view the document, but they cannot make any edits to it. So those are some choices that I have once the person has been added to my list. Also notice that I can X out a person that has already been in there. As the owner, I have the ability to remove an editor from the group. So those are some things that I can make changes to. Also, I can invite other people. So if there's a person I need to add to the group, all I need to know is their email address. So I could go in here and I could find somebody's email address that is either in my address book or in a group or something like that. And I can add those people to the list. And before I even notify them, I can change their permissions. So I'm going to go ahead and send this person access to my account. Right here it notifies them by email that I've added them to this document, but I could uncheck that box if I work with that person and I can say, hey, I gave you this document, that way they don't have to clutter up their email. 
So those are some options there as well. If I wanted to put in a special message, I could do that as well, and I can share it. Once I share it, it says, are you sure you don't want to send that message? And then I can say, go ahead and, and do that. So I can, or I can notify them as well. Then I can find that person in the list, and that person will probably be at the bottom. And again, I can change that person's permission. Or if I realize, uh, I didn't want to add that person, I could X out and make those changes. Another feature you're going to want to be aware of is this down, fine print down at the bottom where it says editors are allowed to add people and change permissions. If I grant someone editing capability, it defaults to that person being able to add other users uh, or invite other people to edit the document. So you might want to click on change and notice that it defaults to anybody who is an editor can add, has full control to add or remove people um, from visibility. You can, however, change that so that only you, the owner, or anybody else you've made a co-owner, can make those changes. So that is something you might want to be aware of uh, when dealing with the security of a document um, and to be aware of that at the bottom there you can make it so that editors can by default or you can change it so that own, only the owner can change the permissions. So that is how you add people to a document or delete people from a document um, that you can collaborate and work together on. There is also another way that you can do sharing besides hitting the blue button, and that is to go to the document in your list, click on the box in front of it, notice that these buttons change when you check the box and when you don't check the box. The one with the little person with the plus sign is the share button. If I check the box and hit the person, it takes me back into my share settings. I can also check the box and go under more. Under more I can go to share and I can get back to my share settings. So there's multiple ways to access that information so that I can share documents with colleagues and work together to get things completed.